Hey all you splinterheads, welcome back. This is Bronze Dragon. Thanks for stopping by. I do appreciate your time. I'm coming at you with a... Um, I want to be careful and I don't want this to sound like a just a fire salt filled complaint fest. Because I'll start off by saying that I have enjoyed playing Splinterlands. I do like uh, the land upcoming part of the game um, and what it promises. But frankly, um, if you listen to the town hall today, you'll probably know what I'm going to go into. But it seems like over the last couple of years, the goal has been to kind of, um, I don't really want to say fight bots, but fight their impact on the ecosystem and I don't want to say fight bots because starting off the team was very adamant that they were all for bots and frankly I think to start off the game before you know we went into the bull uh, run I think the bots were mostly paying for the game and I think that they um, kept the bots in the game for one reason or another, uh, propping up the game, buying multiple spell books, etc. This is all, you know, guessing, but that's that was my thoughts. But I guess my point being is being that they were all along very adamant that there would always be bots in the game, and that's why I started using a, a bot to play my uh, teams because I felt like, well, I guess if you can't beat them join them right and I bring that up is because there's been a number of changes especially over the last year year and a half made to try and limit the effects of the massive bot farms not the one-offs guys like me who play Archmage uh, with their main account but these massive bot farms and it seems like every single change has done what it said you know it's kind of limited down the bot farms and things of this nature but it's also increasingly cost the players us regular guys exponentially more and I look at it as two things okay you have the investment side of the game which I'm also always careful to advise people that I'm not an investment advisor because I went into this game to play a card game but as it is, it's not really just a card game, okay? Because there's several different sides of it, and it's so expensive to play, okay? Now, I know you get on the Splinterlands uh, forums in Discord, and there's all these big whales there that will torch you up and down. Oh, why can't you just keep throwing thousands of dollars? If you don't keep throwing thousands of dollars into the game, you're just not a supporter, so get the hell out. I mean, over the last two years, I've spent in excess of about $6,000 to play this game and to get up to a level where I was high gold, sometimes in diamond, to get some halfway decent rewards. And I say halfway decent because most weeks or most seasons, they, they weren't very good at all. I mean, in the, in the um, you know, a few dollars worth, you know, compared to what's in, been invested, that's not very good return. And I know it's a game, right? So we can always talk about that. But at the risk of keep going on. So the main point is that they all along, they well, at least for the last year or so, they've talked about changing over um, the way you earn or, or the requirements for playing in different leagues and changing from the card power over to staked uh, SPS. And it's it's been a known, okay? What's not been a known is any figures put on that, okay? So they released that today, okay? So Matt was on, and here you go. If you didn't have time to look at them, there, right there on your screen are the figures, okay? And I did some math. To save you a little bit of trouble um, after you get a few minutes to look at that okay now let me explain okay those are not hard limits 
you don't have to have, say for instance, silver one says 11,253 uh, SPS, okay? You don't have to have that much invested or staked to play in that league. But if you don't and you do play in that league, whatever percentage less you have staked comes out of your winnings. So you exponentially earn less. So if you only have, uh, say I'm playing in silver one, which is 11,253. If I only have 1,125, which is 10% of that, then I only get 10% of the total rewards. Okay. And that comes off everything. Okay. Um, and that directly affects, so you would only get 10% of the chests you would earn. Now think about that. A lot of these chests you open up, and especially in silver, would just have like one card. Or just like a fraction of an SPS, you know. So think about that. Think about um, all that money that you would have to invest on top of the cards you're buying. Okay, so let's go ahead. And now that you've got a look at that. I'm going to lay some more numbers on you. And, and yeah, I'm not usually a numbers guy, but I just was wondering about this for the last several hours. I've been really thinking about what I wanted to say on this video. Here are the numbers, okay? I know this isn't fancy, it's just a Word document, but if, um, sorry, lost train of thought. This is figured at uh, 0.22 cents, okay? This is the current value of what SPS is selling for. And it's going up. Obviously, it had the intended effect. That's what, that's what they wanted to do. They wanted to pump it, right? Okay, so as you can see, uh, and this, this is rounded. And so I don't want to say this is exact numbers, but it's rounded to the nearest dollar, sometimes the nearest $2, okay? So you can see that in bronze, it goes from zero, one, ten dollars pretty easy to think about right to get into bronze then it starts going up very quickly silver 41 US dollars silver 2 113 US dollars silver 1 250 dollars now this is if you went and you bought the numbers of SPS we're talking about tonight to stake okay say you wanted sil say you wanted to play in silver 1 and you wanted to get 100% of your um, what you earned uh, in chests, then you would have to buy $250 US dollars worth of SPS and stake it, okay? Now, I'll give you a personal example, okay? I, uh, let's go ahead and take, go back here. I've been playing um, and rolling over my SPS for the last two years, or since SPS is, you know, has become the primary um, uh, coin, right, and moved away from DEC, I haven't went out and bought a bunch because I've been putting my money into cards. If you've watched my videos, you know I try to find good value cards to increase the strength of my deck and play. And like I said, I've put thousands of dollars into this, so I don't feel I feel. I feel angry when I hear people in Discord say, oh, you can't, uh, you're simply just not a good uh, supporter of this ecosystem, you know. I've bought a lot of different things that they've thrown out there. Every single wave of things, sometimes I don't buy, I don't see value in it, right? But I don't think that spending $6,000 on what in effect is a game should be belittled. With that said, I have almost 10,000 SPS, and it's taken a year and a half, two years. I've been playing for more than two years. And that's just rolling it over, staking, taking my daily earnings, and rolling it in. As you can see, well... As you can see, that is even not even enough for me to play in silver one, okay? If I went, and I'm usually playing in diamond three, that is roughly an eighth, 
less than an eighth, okay? So just doing rough math, if I went ahead and started playing in diamond three, then I would only get an eighth of the chests that I normally would have, okay, in the current situation. This season, which just ended, I got 45 chests, which was 10 less than last season for some reason because of all the changes going on, right? Um, I haven't modified my bot play. Archmage still plays it, right? So an eighth of 45, you know, and that's what I'd be getting. Let's go back to this chart. So even on the top end, um, and there's no way I'm going out to spend this. Uh, of course, it would be a little bit less since I already have 10000 but it would be a lot of that. It would be like $1,500, you know, roughly $1,600. I cannot afford to spend $1,600 and put it into SBS. You go on the Discord thread, they're like, tough shit. Sell your stuff, get out of the game. I feel like I've done a good service. Uh, I've told a lot of people about the game. I've got people into the game. I've done videos uh, praising the game a lot, but I call it like I see it, right? I try to get good value. I, I approach it not as an investment, but as a card game. So I'm at this juncture, uh, and we're all at a juncture now where you have to make a decision, okay? Um, and this is uh, another big thing that's happening at the same time. This is like a confluence of things happening all at the same time that I really hope it leads to better things. But I don't know what I'm going to do in this game. Okay, we have land coming in, which I really like the idea of playing. We also have the change to whereas um, they're going to... Um, go anti-bot in um, basically I would have to switch over to wild if I wanted to keep playing with Archmage bot or continue playing in modern and just do it by hand right so I mean um, I don't have an answer right now if you came to me for an answer I don't have an answer I wanted to lay all my cards out on the table um, you know, uh, there are some different, uh, things I could do. I could do what I did previously and just stop ever stop all play and rent the cards out. Okay. Yeah. Cards are not getting very much on the rental market. Maybe it increases when land comes out. Maybe it doesn't. I don't know. May I could just throw everything up on the rental market, make what I make and decide what to do with it. Maybe throw it into land. Um, that's the other thing I could do. I could just stop playing altogether and put my cards on land and just play the land game. And then either sell off the other cards or rent them out. And whatever they make, they make. Or maybe the easier route is just to sink back to silver. Get very low in chests, very m mediocre. At that point, I'm wondering what did I even put thousands of dollars into the game for? Yeah, I got some fun. I got a lot of headaches playing against a lot of bots, and that's why I started using a bot. So there are a lot of things to think about. There are some facts there. There's a lot of conjecture on my part. This may sound like a lot of fire, a lot of salt coming out, and that's fine. They deserve it, okay? I think that they need to relook at the numbers, but they won't. They'll stick with them. I think this is going to have some interesting effects, okay? So for one, uh, I think that some people, uh, a certain percentage of people will fall out of the higher-end leagues. That leaves the higher-end leagues for uh, Champ League for Wales, okay? And then Wales start drawing from that larger pool 
And whales are going to whale. The, the game keeps feeding them, right? Fine. I mean, if you say, well, Splinterlands is a business. They need to make money. That's fine. They make money off the whales. Yeah, that says something about the whales. So certain amount and, and the other byproduct of that is people are going to um, more people are going to into the lower leagues. So maybe people who just made it into silver can't really afford to play in silver anymore. So they sink back into bronze, which bronze is a bronze. I would quit playing before I started playing in bronze again. Right. So you're going to have a very big section of people within silver and gold. I think it will have the effect that uh, it's it's intended effect on bots because the bot farmers are, I, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I don't think that the bot farmers are going to want to put all that money into the accounts uh, to invest in SBS. We'll see. I could be wrong on all this. Who knows? Maybe I just wanted to blow off some steam. Um, but within the next few days, I'm thinking about it. Uh, I may just go, I, I really like just playing the land game. Might just go to that um, and just renting everything else out. Um, I'm not here to say I'm selling off my cards and getting out of the game, but I'm here to say that it, it's really every single round of these changes just increasingly costs more and more and more money. And their team answer is, well, just throw us more money. Throw more money. You, the answer to this is more money. Give us more money, more money. And hey, they're a business, right? But we have to decide what we do with our money. And I have been Bronze Dragon, throw a lot of salt and fire your way. Take it for what it's worth. If you don't agree with me, or if you do agree with me, put it in the content, uh, the comments of this video. We'll discuss it. Stop by on Saturday morning at 11 Eastern time whenever I have my live stream, because who knows how things are going. I, I don't know if I'll keep having the live Splinterland live stream. I've, I've loved doing it, and it, it's usually a great conversation. But stop by, tell me what your thoughts are, or put them in the comments and make another video and discuss them. Everybody's opinions are valid. I hope everyone on your side is happy and healthy. This is Bronze Dragon, and I will see you on the flip side.